not fit a three prong. <laughs> it, it fits. Okay, we're trying this again. This time the roads are salted or pre treated. You need that plugged in? Yeah, I can plug that in. Wait, my tires are giving me a warning now, too. Look, tire pressure low. 36, 36. I've never seen this before, the tire pressure low thing. I may have to stop in Erie and put some air in my tires. In a quarter of a mile. Whoa. Turn right on Fairway Drive. A lot of people want to know that. I can't even re-engage the autopilot right now. It's not even telling me it knows what the lines are. I think it's because this pre-treating lines are messing it up. Because they're little faint lines. Yeah, it doesn't know what the hell is going on. Alright, there. So that's a possible factor or variable with all this. Whoa, we're close to that car. Oh my gosh. That was really close. Now these lines are all over the place. Let's see what it does. In 900 feet. Whoa, we're gonna hit that car. Turn left on Village Road. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, don't I have a feeling it's not gonna re-engage. Well, not here, but maybe not for the rest of it. Get the map here. Where's it telling me to go? It's coming down. It's telling me to go up Route 7. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen it. I guess this is really accurate, this tire pressure thing. And I've never had to wait this long with this light before. I've got a huge line of cars behind me. Turn off for a little bit here. And then we're getting the heck out of here. Turn left on Village Road. Then turn right on Baron Cameron Avenue. All right, well, Avenue. that was pretty sad, but look at all these lines in the, in the road. This is what's messing the whole system up. I don't think it can handle this. 